So today I want to talk about the new discovery beneath the pyramids of Giza that's been all over the internet the past few days. It all ties back to research published back in 2022 by Corrado Malanga from the University of Pisa and Filippo Biondi from the University of Strathclyde. Their study introduced a new way of using something called synthetic aperture radar or SAR for short. Normally radar just bounces off signals of solid objects, but Biondi developed a method that goes further. It picks up incredibly tiny vibrations in the ground, even down to fractions of a millimeter. And this allows them to detect hidden underground spaces or structures that normal radar wouldn't be able to catch. According to their findings, their technology picked up distinct anomalies that point to something entirely unknown lying beneath one of the most studied monuments on Earth. In a recent press release published just last week, they summarized the latest findings of their research. This time, their focus shifted to the second largest pyramid on the Giza Plateau, the Pyramid of Khafre, and what they found was astonishing. Pyramid of Khafre is traditionally believed to have been built for the Pharaoh Khafre, who ruled during the 4th dynasty in ancient Egypt around 2500 BC. He was the son of Khufu, the Pharaoh associated with the Great Pyramid, and is also thought to be the figure represented by the Great Sphinx nearby. Although Khafre's pyramid is slightly smaller than Khufu's, it appears taller due to being constructed on higher ground, and it still preserves some of its original casing stones at the top, offering a rare glimpse of how these structures once looked. The team used dozens of SAR images taken from multiple angles of the Khafre pyramid, and it allowed them to create a 3D reconstruction of the area inside the pyramid, as well as deep beneath the surface of the surrounding plateau. Near the base of the pyramid, the data revealed five identical structures arranged in a precise pattern and connected by geometric pathways. Inside each of these are five horizontal levels and a sloped roof. Below them, the reconstruction shows eight cylindrical formations that appear to be vertical wells, completely hollow and surrounded by spiral paths that descend around them. These eight shafts are aligned in two parallel rows, extending downwards to a depth of 648 meters, where they all appear to converge into two massive cubic chambers, each measuring around 80 meters on each side. Altogether, the structure spans roughly two kilometers underground and stretches beneath all three of the pyramids on the Giza Plateau. Pyramids of Giza are traditionally believed to have been built as tombs for the pharaohs Khufu, Khafre, and Menkare, sometime around 2500 BC, using ancient stone tools, ramps, levers, and wedges. But when you look at the actual construction, it raises a lot of questions. The scale and precision are honestly hard to wrap your head around. The Great Pyramid, for example, is aligned almost perfectly to true north, which means its sides face exactly north, south, east, and west. And I'm not talking close, I mean within just 0.067 degrees of perfect alignment. That's more accurate than most modern buildings, and it was done thousands of years ago without GPS or even a compass. The base of the pyramid is almost perfectly level, off by less than an inch across the entire structure, and the blocks fit together with extreme precision, even though many of them weigh several tons. Some engineers today say recreating that level of craftsmanship with our current technology would still be a serious challenge. So while the tools might have been simple, the knowledge and execution clearly weren't. And this wouldn't be the first time underground structures were found beneath an ancient monument. In Mexico, at the ancient city of Teotihuacan, researchers discovered a hidden tunnel beneath the Pyramid of the Moon using similar non-invasive technology. It's been completely sealed off for centuries and it wasn't found until they started scanning the ground. So the idea of underground structures beneath ancient monuments isn't unheard of, it's happened before. So while the study is certainly fascinating and the technology behind it is impressive, we need to approach the findings with caution. The paper has been peer reviewed and published in the Journal of Remote Sensing, but even the reviewers acknowledge that more work is needed to verify if the structures are actually real and they need more than just a simple image. Without any real physical evidence, it's too early to come to any kind of conclusion 
conclusion. But if further research confirms what the images suggest, it could dramatically shift our view of ancient Egypt and what ancient civilizations were truly capable of. There is a plan for excavation to learn more about this, but it could be very difficult to get permission from the Egyptian government to dig underneath their most important tourist attraction. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. Could this change our understanding of ancient Egypt? And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.